Hi, my name is Ivo and I'm doing research into Nikola Tesla's impulse electricity. In my previous video I showed you a resonant system with the voltage and current signs and the power it consumes and generates. In this video I will show you where I intend to place the impulses to amplify the power generation cycles of the resonant system. Let's take a look. I have here the resonant sine wave of a coil. In red the voltage, zero to maximum, to minimum, to maximum negative and zero again. And the current in blue from negative max maximum to minimum to positive maximum to minimum again and to negative maximum again. Also drawn is in green the power of the resonant cycle. A generation cycle and a consumption cycle, a generation and a consumption. Note that the frequency of that power cycle is twice the frequency of the resonant system. And note that the voltage and the current are 90 degrees out of phase. This means they are not maximum at the same moment in time as this the time axis. So as I explained in my previous video, we have equal amounts of power generation and power consumption, which makes the total zero. But we can change that. We can change that by putting impulses on the sine wave. We can do that in the generation cycle or in the consumption cycle. Now in the consumption cycle this would lead to problems because then we would first have to overcome the power that is being consumed before we would be able to create generating power. So that is not efficient. I already have tried putting impulses of positive and negative on the voltage maximums and that didn't do anything good so I won't try that anymore. I've also shown that in previous videos. What I tend to do now is place the impulses on the generation cycles of the power cycle. So we have here the maximum of the generation cycle. Here is already power available. And this power comes from the multiplication of the voltage and the current. Same here, multiplication of the voltage and current. And as I explained in my previous video, we need a opposite polarity of voltage and current to generate power due to the conventional current agreement. I could place the impulses right here. A positive impulse here and a negative impulse here. That is at the maximum power points. So this would amplify the maximum power point. That is one option. So that is at one eighth of the cycle and at five eighth of the cycle. But I think there's a better placement there is a better place to put the impulses. We have a coil discharge that creates the impulses. That means we have voltage impulses. We are not having current impulses because current impulses are being created from capacitor discharges. But I'm discharging a coil, so I'll have voltage impulses. As you can see, here is the maximum current of the resonance system. And here is the positive maximum current of the system. And here again, but that's the same as here, because that's the start and end, and it's the same moment of the sine wave. So I intend to amplify that maximum current. At this point in time, there is no voltage here. And here it's the same, there is no voltage. Now it becomes very critical because if I would um, 
put the impulse a little bit before, then I would interrupt the, uh, the voltage here and I would lo lose some voltage. So what it is best to do is put the impulse right at the zero point of voltage, at the maximum current, and then I should be able to create a power peak. So here another impulse. Now that voltage maximum from the impulse is combined with the current that already is present in the field. And in this way I will create a power peak in the generation cycle. So here will be a peak of power. Now that color is really awful. I'm going to do it with blue, that's a lot better. So here is that power cycle that's being bumped up. And the same is here. We have a generation cycle of power and that is amplified by that impulse. So now we are providing the impulse with power or vice versa. We are providing the resonant coil with power. And this is only on the moment of that impulse. So we might want to make the duration of the impulse a little bit longer and a little bit lower in voltage, but that would prolong it to the maximum point. But that, that's all optional. That's a consideration. But actually, I don't think I want to do that. I want to keep the impulse really fast and strong. Still, I'm uh, experimenting, so uh, I could be wrong. But this is what I intend to do. To put a positive voltage on the zero point and a negative voltage on the zero point. And the polarity is very important to get it right. This way uh, the current is amplified and there is a power spike like so. And this will be very large as we can produce many, many, many resonant amps and very high voltages on the impulse. So that is the plan for now. And as you can see, I have positive and negative impulses. This means I need to use the radiant half bridge circuit of November 2020, which can produce both positive and negative impulses. Now the placement of these impulses, uh, how I do that uh, is a little bit tricky and too complicated to uh, explain in this video, but I will definitely show you. So one more time, the impulses will generate an extra power curve right here and here. as the power is produced by the combination of voltage and current. And the volta voltage comes from the impulses that I add to the system. This way, the resonant coil will produce more power than it consumes. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Leave a like if you like it. And if you want to make a donation, that would be much appreciated as this work is all open source and no patents can be applied. So everyone can make use of it. See you next time.